Hey, Lance, how's it going? Going good. Good. Um, so, you know, we were talking to Kiko about it a minute ago. Obviously, a lot of guys who um, are going to be playing in the bowl game who didn't get a ton of opportunities during the season. Um, how have you gone about uh, kind of integrating them more into like the first team defense? And, and who have been the guys maybe who didn't play as much who who stood out to you to the through the first few uh, bowl practices? Well, we're playing basically the same guys. Uh, we're going to play Jaden Davis at the free safety. We'll play to Corey Couch at the boundary safety. Um, so we'll have Richard at a corner. We'll have one of the Browns at the corner. So we still got some guys that played a lot of snaps. And we go nickel. Uh, Markeith Williams will come in and play the boundary safety because TC got to go to the the star spot. So we're going to always have the best defensive backs on the field that we can. And if we have to put more speed on the field, we will. So uh, it's been good. You know, the guys have embraced the new positions and um, – TC the other day running through the posts, going to make plays on balls. We're like, dang, I know why Cam like this. You kind of get to freelance a little bit. <laughs> so I laughed. So they excited about it, which is good. Next, we'll go to Susan Miller Degnan from the Miami Herald. Susan, go ahead. Hey, coach. Hey, Miss Susan. <laughs> How are you? Doing good. Excellent. So, um, I was going to ask that question, of course, but the difference in your defense with Kiko back, that's my first question. Yeah, it's, it's good to have him, of course. Uh, I was glad he decided to, you know, stay with us and not uh, go. I think this year coming up will be a really big year for him. I think he'll put himself at a, at a better position. Uh, Football-wise, he'll be better. He'll know the defense better, but I think he'll have some more growth, and I think he'll really catapult himself uh, to the next level and maybe some higher rounds. Uh, so uh, he's got work left to do here, and we're we're happy to try to help him reach his goals, everything that he wants in life. And also, how important do you think a bowl game is? I know Kiko said every game's the same, but th you know this program has had very bad luck, or I don't know if it's bad luck, but the past several years they, they mostly don't win bowl games. How can it help by winning a bowl game? Can it, or is that overrated? Yeah, you want to kind of win every game you play, you know, and we've got most of our guys playing in it, you know, so we haven't, you know, last year we didn't go to a bowl, so this year we are going to bowl, and it's different. You know, we get to go up to New York and uh, play in Yankee Stadium, and that whole experience would be good, but uh, I think these guys still have a lot left to prove. You know, we felt like we probably, there's a game or two out there we should have won maybe. Um, so to get an eighth win would be big, and it set us up for next year going into the off season and getting ready for next season. So yeah, we're, we're taking this game very seriously. Okay. And then the last thing is I, I obviously you talked about having the new guys or some of the guys that left, but some of those guys that left cam James Williams, mm -hmm. you know uh, how, I mean, you Corey flag there's, you know, them, I, I, how much, I don't know how much will you miss them? Well, I mean, I'm just an old high school football coach. And every <laughs> year your seniors leave and you say, man, how are we going to replace them? And somebody always steps up, you know. So it's kind of the next man up attitude. Of course, we've missed Cam when we miss uh, James and Flag and all those guys. But as a coach, you just kind of reset your mind and you coach the guys that you have there. And it's kind of like a guy getting hurt. When Cam went down, Jaden Harris had to play, you know, so – uh, you just got to get reset as quick as you can. The quicker you do, the quicker the team does. So, of course, I wish those guys were playing, but they're not. And uh, so we'll get ready with these guys we have, and it'll be a new adventure and new new things we get to do maybe with them, you know. So I'm excited. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, next, let's go back to Adam Lichtenstein from the Sun Sentinel. Adam, go ahead. So to continue with the, the same kind of topic about, you know, guys who are going to be – kind of playing and stuff uh, at defensive tackle. Um, do you know if you're going to be doing like the three, three set uh, to kind of, I know Branson and LT won't be playing. I assume they're not playing since they're, they're not coming back next year. Um, you're going to be going for like a three, three set to kind of just play like Jared Harrison hunt in the middle. Um, are some new guys going to be playing in that role? Uh, just how is that going to be looking? And then I do have one question that's not in that vein. We're going to run everything we got. We're going to play four down. We're going to play three, three stack. We're going to play four, three. Everything we showed on film, we're doing. 
Gotcha. <laughs> and then, you know, this is your first, um, I guess, postseason, offseason under Mario Cristobal. Uh, obviously, he's known as like a recruiting fiend. Um, just what's it been like for you in this first time of year under, you know, on his staff, um, balancing recruiting, ball prep and, and transfer portal and everything that goes into, you know, this time of year? It's always busy, you know, especially with the early signing date. It's been like that for the last couple of years. Um, so that's always been a change that's been different because usually you had till February to try to convince or seal guys. So it's got pluses and minuses, but you did, you know, you're dealing with bowl games as well. So there's a lot to juggle, but thank God coach Cristobal loves recruiting. So he's the hardest working person in the building with recruiting. He does an unbelievable job. It's his niche as well. So uh, he does a great job and we just kind of follow suit behind him and, uh, you know, I think we ought to put together a great class.